Good morning, good morning, good morning, you lovely lot. It is four minutes to eight and I will be starting work very shortly. Uh, my morning started quite early when the dogs were whimpering at half six, I think it was. So I sent them out for wheeze and I made a cup of tea and then went back and snuggled Lee for half an hour until he had to get up. Um, so yes, I'm due another cup of tea now, I think. I will have a bit of breakfast. I'll do the school run and then the day is my own until, oh, excuse me. The evening school run or afternoon school run is looking a bit overcast not very pleasant out there so um not sure what the day is going to do we are due some rain i think on wednesday but hopefully it'll clear up anyway i'm gonna go get some breakfast first job of the day is to take all the muck out of this i've put the light back on in here and this is where some of my veg are going to start off because it's warm from uh, toothless's tank for the heat coming up from that and uh, the light's good for starting off the veggies so that's my first job and then i'm going to plant up some of my veggies i've got my seed trays and i've got my plant pots and the idea with these ones is they just compost down so you can just put them in the ground or what have you and yeah, they'll just decompose and become part of the compost. Right, first job. in April yes so I'm still within the sowing range I'm a bit late on these I think well I'm a bit late on all my veg I think most people I know are a little bit more on the ball than I am okay this is what a beetroot seed looks like teeny tiny bit of gravel type thing if you didn't know better you'd probably think it was a bit of gravel it looks like the top of an apple core when you get shrilled up or the top of a um Satsuma, you know, the bit that comes off the top. Right. Let's do some beetroot. I will do six beetroot. I ought to write on the pot, shouldn't know what it is. Six beetroot.
easier said than done trying to write on these pots look <laughs> it'd be a bit of deciphering i think oh this one's looking a bit better there you go that one looks a bit better now the other thing you can do is fill a tray like this if you don't want to buy pots and if I'd been organised, I would have thought about doing it sooner, um, is to save toilet roll inserts, cut them in half and use them in the same way. I mean, obviously they don't have a bottom in them, but that's fine. You can still plant them out as they grow. Right, those are all beetroot. Has that got... Okay, what should we do next? That's the beetroot. What else have I got here? Oh, let's do some courgette. I do like courgettes. Right, I'll see what a courgette seed looks like. They're kind of like that. I suppose you'd have to let a courgette get very big before it went to seed. Um, we'll put those in there. We'll do three courgette plants, I think. Um, yeah, because you wouldn't normally find courgettes with seeds that big, would you? In the ones that you eat. So you'd have to let them go to seed. Well, obviously, go to seed. Duh, we didn't really see, did you? Sometimes I do state the obvious. Right, courgette. Courgette. Courgette, isn't it? It's got an E on the end. And a double T. Courgette. I think that must be a French word. Is it a French word? It sounds French. Courgette. And one more. Oh, shit. Okay, what should we do next? Courgette, courgette, courgette. Uh, what we got here? Carrots. I never seem to do very well with carrots. Oh, what about some French beans? I don't like runner beans. Cannot stand runner beans. But I like these beans green beans which I'm assuming is French beans they look the same there we go those are the seeds uh, I'm going to do three of those and we'll see what happens because I'm gonna have to make a bean plant aren't I for those don't even know if this is the right time for these April May June yeah so I'm not that I'm not that far off in my season am I really I have three of those and see how they do well no do you know what I'm going to do six because I can always do a trade with my sister and my sister-in-law and with my parents because I know Heather's got a greenhouse full of vegetables. Right. Got the right French bean on these, haven't I? Right, and then I just need to water them and put them in my makeshift greenhouse with artificial light. <laughs> Now, the thing is, my playroom is perfect to be a greenhouse. As we saw last year during lockdown, when I had a month and a half with no work, and I started all my veg off in there. But it's no good trying to do anything in there that's not childcare related. One, because I need the space for work. And two, because... Sorry, was I boring you? Was I boring you? Sorry. Um... Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, and the other reason is little hands pull everything off the side, which empty the pots, up, and literally they wait until I go to the toilet. I think everything's fine. Then I go to the toilet, I come back and they've unraveled a toilet paper or something, you know, like a tissue box or something. So it's amazing how quickly they learnt that Pippa's gone to make a cup of tea or Pippa's gone for a wee. Let's cause chaos. Right, let's water those. And we will go and put those in their new home. I've just found a growing mat that I got out of a cracker at Christmas. So I've made it wet and I'm just going to cover it in cress. So I've got loads of cress seeds, some of which grow, some of which have not been very good at growing, so I've got lots of old seeds. 
But I'm thinking if I just chuck a load down, I'll put it in the mud kitchen area, and then that way the kids have got some, well, you know, something they can play with and eat. Really, really, you know, really, really eat, rather than just pretend to eat. Um, so yeah, I've wet the mat, and they are, I've sown the seeds. Then I'll pop it on the windowsill, and we'll keep an eye on it. I'll let the kids know what we're doing. And then they can, uh, hopefully, if they grow, they can have a little munch. Let's have a little bit more water. That elephant trunk. Elephants are my favourite. Right. There we go. Oh, you're not as strong as you used to be, Jay. No, you're not. You'd have pulled my arm out of its socket by now. <laughs> It's half past ten and I have just finished cleaning the bathroom. I think I deserve a cup of tea now. I don't know how well you can see, but I have just washed all down this wall, got rid of some of the marks that were on it, and here, and the skirting, and then up the banister. I came out for this walk I hadn't planned on maypole dancing I seem to have been maypole dancing or at least the dogs have been maypole dancing um, thankfully I'm not the maypole My other walks book has arrived. These are quite short walks as well because they're family walks. So some of them have short versions and long versions, I believe, or some of them are just quite short. So that's really good. Um, oh, and it came from Blackwells in Oxford. I bought it on Amazon, but they must have been doing it via um, Amazon selling. And look what's turned up. The thing I thought I had lost was actually in the bag where I originally thought it was, but it wasn't in the pocket I thought it was, and so therefore I couldn't see it. But thankfully it is there, so I do have my ID now, and I can't remember why I needed it, but I'd lost it, hadn't I? So um, I'm going to put it in my phone case so I don't lose it again. Milk. Yeah, which up there. And it frank with clumpy milk. It was clumpy milk. Why was it clumpy milk? Had it gone off? No. No. This is fine, but I pour it in. Plop. There you go, you got a roasty roasty dinner there. Well, sort of a roasty dinner. Um yes, you can have milk. You can have milk in your cereal and stuff. How does it feel? Nothing's No. I've been scratching my back but because See, yeah, your back is bad, but uh, it's, it's well, been bad. My, arm, my arms are bad because I cleaned out the fish. You cleaned out the fish That's today. Cool, Good evening, everyone. Leah's just having a shower. Tico and I are just relaxing. Jay's got to lay down on her bed. Mm. We're just chilling, aren't we? We are. It's been a lovely day. Right, I haven't got much to share with you really, 
it's just been a very nice day the sun did come out as you saw in the end anyway we're going to see you tomorrow thanks very much for watching